Okay. So let's review the topics we have covered in this session. To recap, we looked at a high level at five topics that will form the basis for the rest of the course, where you will dive much more deeply into each one. To sum up, however, we looked at data quality. The key point here is that quality of a data set is relative to its intended use. What is good for one researcher may not be good for another. There are, however, numerous quantifiable factors that can be used to assess the quality of your data. Secondly, we looked at documentation. Documentation is not the measurements themselves, it refers to the metadata. It should be rich enough to allow data use by a third party without them necessarily having to refer back to the source. Thirdly, we looked at standards. These are rules that if followed by everyone, increase understanding and allow the efficient sharing of data. Fourthly, we looked at data normalization. This is a methodology that you can use that will help you understand your data and gives you a way to organize it efficiently. Lastly, we looked at reasons to publish. We saw that there are many good reasons for publishing biodiversity data openly. However, we also saw that there are just as many barriers to such publishing. Good planning, documentation, consistency, and time are your best tools for overcoming these. Thank you for joining me in the second session of the Biodiversity Information for Development workshop on data mobilization. There will be opportunities for you to use the e-forums on the e-learning platform. Please feel free to do so. We look forward to hearing from you and good luck with the rest of the course.